in this video, we're going to be checking out HY Filter Free by HY Plugins. HY Filter Free is an incredibly adept filter capable of numerous processing techniques. We'll be checking out how this plugin performs on the variety of different sound sources and how we can use it to set up some really unique movements and modulations. So I have an instance of HY Filter Free loaded on the master output of this loop. Let's turn it on and have a look at some of the presets to get an idea of some of the stuff that this plugin can do. So with HY Filter Free, we have the option of setting one of five different filter modes. The SVF filter is more of a traditional filter featuring cutoff and resonance. We can set low pass, band pass or high pass filter and drive. We can also modulate any of the controls where we see these numbers 1 and 2 underneath and this sets the modulation up from one of these two modulation generators. We also get the Rezo filter. This features three bandpass filters and we can change the mode which will change the order of these bandpass filters. We also get a drive, LFO and envelope follower. and spread control. With the crossover filter we can split the audio into three different frequency bands and process each one independently. A high, mid and low. Adding drive, width or pan and level to each one of these. So it becomes a frequency balancing and mixing tool in this respect. And of course we can modulate any one of these controls. The dual filter features two filters that we can set to be either serial or parallel. And with two different cutoff frequencies, we can get some really interesting movements and modulations by setting up two different modulation generators on each cutoff frequency. Whilst the format filter features three format filters, we can set up applying different valves on each one. And of course, once again, apply different modulations on the valve control of each one of these filters. We also get a dry wet control for the filter to dial the dry signal back in. Now let's take a closer look at the modulation section of the HY Filter 3. I have a bass sound loaded up here, some sustained notes. It would be quite interesting to set up some unique sequence or step modulation on this sound. So I'm going to go to the dual filter control and with the first filter set up here as a low pass filter I'm going to bring a cut of frequency down and I'm going to apply some modulation to the cut frequency control here by just clicking and dragging up on this number one. And now this first modulation generator is modulating the cutoff frequency of this filter. Could add a little bit more resonance. And let's look at these different modulation generators for creating a bit more of an interesting movement on this sound. The moment we're on the simple LFO we can set different 
waveforms to control the LFO, we can tempo sync it and change the rate and the phase here. We also get this step LFO, which is really interesting for creating unique modulations and movements. We set our waveform for each one of these steps. And what's quite interesting is at the moment they're slaved to the speed down here set of 1 over 8, but we can change the LFO speed of each one of these individual steps. So I could make this one go to 16th notes. Take this one slower. And we get some really interesting movements. We can turn steps off. or randomize the waveforms of the whole step LFO. Let's create some quite interesting modulations. Let's now take a look at filter two and set up some different modulations. Turn this filter to on. And set the filters in parallel routing and turn the balance over to the filter two so we can only hear filter two now. And I'm looking at this MP envelope. We can set customized envelopes for the modulation here And let's load it up our modulation 2 slot and direct the modulation 2 to modulate the cut frequency of filter 2. We can just click and drag the nodes to add the modulation or right click to add extra nodes. Tempo sync the movements and speed it up. We also get a selection of presets to dial up in here. You can hear we can get some really interesting sequence movements happening on what was to begin with quite a straightforward sound. We also get an EQ control for frequency balancing and our effects section where we can dial up different effects. Select from one of 18 different effects
Now let's take a look at how the HY filter performs with percussive or rhythmic material. I have an instance of it loaded on this drum beat here. And let's explore some of the different filters. Let's use the straightforward SVF filter and set up a couple of different modulations on the cutoff frequency. Begin by taking a look at this envelope follower. It's a really interesting modulation generator. It will respond to the transients on a piece of audio and apply modulation accordingly. Apply a little bit of this modulation to the driver of this filter as well. Let's set up a different modulation now on the second modulation generator and also direct it towards the cutoff frequency. Maybe just use a straightforward LFO, tempo sync, and use quite a fast rate. Or slow it down. You can see it's great for working percussive material to get some really interesting textures on the sound use the EQ for further frequency balancing and dial in some of the effects that sound really cool. really like the sound of this reverse delay. As the delay's in reverse, let's tempo sync this. We can also high pass or low pass this reverse delay. Let's also add something else in here. A bit of drive. See, the HY Filter 3 is a really cool plugin, capable of so many different sonic textures. Great for working with all kinds of different material from rhythmic percussive material to bass sounds, synth sounds, and vocals. Be sure to check out the HY Filter 3 by HY Plugins, which is available now at adsrsounds.com. <laughs>